Hi, Kid here. I'm going to show you a solo version of the forearm stretch which is designed to benefit this area here, which for many people, if they work long hours at the computer like we're all doing at the moment, tends to get very tight and sore and in time, in fact, can even lead to serious problems like repetitive strain injury. So the target is in here and it's extremely hard to stretch this area on your own normally. We have a partner version of the exercise. It's a stronger version than the exercise I'm going to show you now. But this is the perfect one to keep you loose after you've done a partner version or if you don't have a partner to work with, this on its own will help by itself. Okay, the setup is exactly the same for the bicep stretch, which means in the lying position, I need to be organized roughly like this. The arm in relation to my spine is about 45 degrees, in other words. So let me get down on the ground and show that to you. First thing is, I reach my arm out to the side and then I put it up to about 45 degrees like this and I turn the arm over because this is the same as the bicep stretch. I then move my hips away from the arm that I'm stretching. I put this hand in the push-up position and I roll back into what looks like the bicep stretch. You can put your head on the ground but I'll lift mine up so that the sound stays a bit better. And then we can do the contraction for the bicep stretch, which is to press the back of the wrist into the floor, which I'm doing now. Three, two, one. I take a breath in, I let my tummy go soft, I take another breath in, and I try to go a little bit deeper into that position, which is what I'm doing now. Now to bring on the forearm stretch, I clench my fist like this, I flex it as far as I can like this, and I don't let the bicep stretch go as I'm doing that, and then the big part, I then roll the arm like this. And that is an incredibly powerful stretch in that same area. Uh, that's amazing. I can do another contraction by pressing the back of the wrist into the ground. I stop, and this time, the re-stretch is to flex the wrist more and to rotate the arm more like this. Wow. And to come out, as always, let the shoulder, the push-up hand shoulder come down, bring the hands back and sit back up. Now, as I said, it's not as strong as the partner version, but it's immensely strong. And in fact, when you wind up the wrist like this and internally rotate the arm, as I did, it also increases the stretch on the long-headed bicep end of this muscle too, and that's also a fantastic benefit. So give that a go and let us know please what you think in the comments, whether it's been effective for you or not.